Edward Welch's comprehensive exploration of vocational challenges offers a nuanced Christian perspective on how to navigate the emotional and spiritual complexities associated with work. He likens the difficulties we face in our jobs to unnecessary weights, suggesting that these burdens can be alleviated through a combination of prayer, introspection, and spiritual growth. At the outset, Welch emphasizes the critical role of prayer in addressing vocational issues. He argues that prayer should not be a mere ritualistic act, but a heartfelt dialogue with God. He encourages people to slow down and consider the quality and content of their prayers, advocating for a form of communication that is open, honest, and deeply rooted in faith. According to Welch, following the pattern of prayers found in the Psalms can be particularly helpful. These prayers often start with a candid expression of distress or need, but they also acknowledge God's past faithfulness and end with declarations of faith and gratitude. In doing so, prayer becomes a tool for sharing and lightening our burdens, rather than intensifying our sense of isolation and stress. Also, Welch delves into the concept of complaining, making a clear distinction between what he terms as good and bad complaints. Good complaints are those that are directed towards God and seek to understand the coexistence of mercy and misery. They are devoid of anger, but may include questions and pleas for understanding and relief. In contrast, bad complaints are misdirected, often aimed at people who have no control over the situation and are filled with anger or hopelessness. Welch warns that such complaints are not only unproductive, but can also distance us from the grace and love of God. He cites biblical examples to show that complaining in a manner that disregards God's past acts of grace and love is tantamount to contempt for the divine. Moreover, another significant aspect that Welch discusses is the role of spiritual growth in overcoming vocational challenges. He encourages people to expand the scope of their prayers to include not just tangible outcomes like securing a job, but also intangible spiritual fruits such as patience, perseverance, and faith. He refers to the New Testament to show that vocational trials are not unique to modern times. Even the saints faced challenges that affected their livelihoods. These trials, Welch argues, are tests of faith that can either reveal our flaws, such as anxiety and unbelief, or help cultivate virtues like patience and perseverance. Furthermore, Welch addresses the pervasive issue of depression, suggesting that if all joy and meaning have been drained from one's life, then the problem transcends vocational dissatisfaction. He advises those who are depressed to take small, faith-based steps forward, rooted in the belief that they are serving the Lord. This, he argues, is often the only reason for a depressed person to continue working. Last but not least, Welch touches upon the interconnectedness of work and personal relationships, suggesting that issues in one area can have a domino effect on the other. He advises that any lingering frustrations, fears, or hurts in primary relationships can sap the life out of one's vocational endeavors. Therefore, it's crucial to identify and address these relationship issues as part of the larger strategy to resolve work-related challenges. In summary, Edward Welch offers a holistic, faith-based approach to dealing with the challenges of work. He advocates for a balanced life that incorporates earnest prayer, thoughtful self-examination, spiritual growth, and healthy interpersonal relationships. By doing so, he suggests that we can lighten our vocational burdens and find a more fulfilling and spiritually enriching work-life balance.